Hello everyone, welcome to our first tutorial on the Arduino electronics section of our channel. So this tutorial will be about basically setting up the Arduino and connecting some simple LED circuits to it. We'll begin by just connecting an LED to the 5 volt line and seeing how the Arduino can power various systems using that. Then we'll move on to controlling LEDs using the digital pins on the Arduino, which can be used as switches so we can turn LEDs on and off. We'll finally conclude with a brief segment on flashing multiple LEDs. We'll set up a circuit with eight different LEDs and use Arduino code in order to turn them off and on and create a cool little light show. Let's get started. All right, everyone, so we will go over the first part of our lab, which is just a simple LED circuit that will be connected to the five volt pin on the Arduino. So the five volt pin on the Arduino is just a pin that constantly sends out five volts and will allow us to power the LED just simply by connecting it. So the LED circuit is quite simple. We will just have one 1K ohm resistor and an LED it starts at five volts and goes to ground. So we will first connect our resistor so we will connect it to the five volt line or pin on the Arduino, and then connect the other end of the resistor to somewhere else on the breadboard. Then we'll take the LED. So the LED, it's a uh, light emitting diode, and because it's a diode, that means there's a direction to it, so that current will only flow in one direction. So to know the proper way to plug it into your breadboard, you have to look at the, the lengths of the wires. Most LEDs, the positive lead, so the lead that's closest to the power, or has a higher voltage, is the one that needs to be connected to that. And the uh, shorter lead so, uh, is the one that needs to be connected to the side that will have a lower voltage. So in our case, we will connect the positive lead to the, with the resistor and the negative lead will be connected to the ground. So we'll connect the positive lead to the resistor, negative lead to another pin, and then that pin we will use a wire to connect it to the ground. So ground there. All right, and then now we'll plug it in. And as you can see, our little LED, it's a little dim, but you can see it lighting up there. All right, that's it for this section. We'll move on to the next one. All right, everyone, so we just finished our previous section, which was just connecting an LED uh, with a 1K ohm resistor to uh, power source from the ground and turning on the LED. So now we're gonna go over how we can control the brightness of the LED variable resistance. So to do that, we will be introducing a device called a potentiometer. So a potentiometer is a small thing that you can tune to various resistances. So as you can see here, there are three pins. So when we're setting up our circuit, we're gonna to wanna to make sure that we connect uh, one end to the one of the outside pins, and then the other end of the circuit to the middle pin. So basically the current needs to flow from an outside pin to the middle pin or the middle pin to the outside to one of the outside pins. That's because the variable resistance is seen between the outside pin and the middle pin, not between the two outside pins. So that's one thing you have to be paying attention to. And then on the other end of the potentiometer, there's a little screw there that you can uh, turn using a screwdriver that'll let you tune the resistance to whatever you specify. So this is a 100k ohm potentiometer, so it varies between roughly zero resistance and 100k ohms. All right, now we'll start actually building the circuit. It's quite similar to the one we had before. So we'll begin by just connecting a resistor to the five volt line again. Now our LED, or actually, no, let's do the potentiometer. So the potentiometer, will make sure one of the outside pins is connected to the note, same node as that resistor from before. We'll plug that in there. And then now we're gonna take our LED and we're gonna take it and plug the positive lead, so the longer lead, into the same node where the middle pin of that potentiometer was and the negative lead to another node. And finally, we're gonna take our wire, connect it to that negative lead on the LED. And then we're gonna connect that just to ground. All right, now I've got our complete circuit. If we plug it in, you can see the LED, it's on, but very dim. It's much dimmer than before. So when we tune our potentiometer, so with our screwdriver here, it's a little difficult. Oops. 
as I turn, turn it, see it's dimmer. Dimmer still. And now it is extremely dim. It's basically impossible to even see any light coming out of it. That's because as we're increasing the resistance on the potentiometer, which is from the direction I was turning it, the amount of current that'll flow through the system is continuing to decrease. And because the LED needs to see a larger current than is currently being supplied in order to see any light, it's going to continue to dim until the human eye can't even see it anymore. All right, that's it for this section, and now we'll move on to the next one.